Hey guys, Melinda here. I'm on day six of my 14 day fast, so I wanted to come in and give a quick update on days four and five. So I'm not going to go through all the details with you because that would be a lot to talk about, but I do want to touch on a few points. First, I will tell you that my weight is down as of this morning, 10 pounds. No. Yeah, 10 pounds of this morning, exactly 10 pounds. And um, I haven't been getting very good sleep. I'm not sure why, but last night I only got less than five hours of sleep, so that's not enough. I tried to come home and take a nap after work today, but couldn't do it. Um, I just, my legs have been kind of crampy and I don't, I'm not sure why I'm taking my salt water with potassium in it. I'm taking my natural calm with magnesium in it. So I'm taking my detox baths, but, um, I've experienced it before. I know it's normal, so I'm just gonna, uh, get through it. But today, yesterday, I've been feeling kind of nauseous and it surprises me. I thought I would kind of be through that by now but I'm still nauseous. So today, uh, I probably shouldn't have done this, but I have a friend at work whose husband also works there and he's doing a 10 day fast. First time he's ever fasted and he's doing 10 days. And he was, I said, how is he doing? And she said, fine. And I said, well, I feel really nauseous today. And she said, he's been really nauseous too. Well, she has a prescription for nausea. And I forget the medicine, but she said he took it and he felt a lot better. So she gave me one and uh, I took it. I thought, I don't, I, I mean, it's just, I can't get through. It's just hard to get through when you feel sick. And it really did help. I still have this empty, I feel like I'm hungry all the time. And usually that would pass by now. So I'm hoping tomorrow will be better. As far as energy, I feel fine. I've been doing some walks, um, 25 to 30 minute walks. You know, I don't walk real fast, but I'm getting out there and moving. Um, so yeah, I don't know. What else do you want to know? Um, so one thing that's interesting, I've been tracking my blood pressure. It, and I do see it slowly coming down and I've noticed it's always really, it's pretty good in the mornings. I mean, pretty good. And in the evenings it's, it's high, but in the evenings it, it is coming down. So I'm hoping that when I'm done with the fast and I continue to eat healthy, that I'll just keep getting, and the weight comes down, I'll, it'll keep coming down. So the other interesting thing that I thought I would mention is I'm tracking my body fat percentage and my BMI. Every morning I'm doing it before I drink any water because I think the water can affect. I'm using this machine, Omron Fat Loss Monitor. So I don't know how accurate that it really is, but it, I think it will, would show an accurate trend, even if it's not exactly accurate. So... So yeah, what's interesting is obviously my BMI is going down. It's embarrassing, but my BMI started at 35.7 and it's now down to 33.5. So I'm happy about that. I mean, hopefully I can get it down to, you know, a normal range, 25 or whatever. But my body fat percentage, oh my gosh, it is terrible. And what I've noticed is it has gone up slightly not a lot but it has gone up and i think and i i'm pretty sure it's because in the first part of the fast you're losing water so you're losing weight but you're not losing fat so therefore the percentage of fat would go up because your weight is down so you know i'm not too worried about it and hopefully you know i'm now i'm in ketosis i've probably been in ketosis since about day three and, you know, hopefully here I'm burning fat now. So I hope to see that number go down. And again, I don't know how accurate this thing is, but, you know, I, I would think it would show a, a good trend. So anyway, besides the nausea and the, oh, another thing. 
So, you know, I didn't want to eat sweeteners on this. I didn't want to have sweeteners like in my tea or whatever. So I did, I didn't think about it, but on Wednesday we had our Bible study and, you know, I brushed my teeth and used mouthwash and all that stuff, but set your breath can still be bad. Um, brush my tongue, all that. But my husband was getting a piece of gum when we were leaving and I said, oh, give me a piece. And it's the Spry gum sweetened with the xylitol. So it's not bad. It's not bad. But so I did have one piece of gum and I'm okay with that. But I have stayed away from using the sweetener in my tea, which is where I haven't been drinking tea. So last night I made a pitcher of unsweetened tea the other day. And last night, my husband got a glass, and I said, oh, will you get me a glass? And, but he said, how much stevia do you want in it? I said, none, just just ice. And it wasn't bad. So I think I like the unsweet tea uh, without sweetener okay, and I can do that. So that'll be nice to just drink something besides water. Um, I say um a lot, don't I? <sighs> That's all. I think that's all for now. I hope these updates are helpful for you. If you have any questions or comments, let me know. If you have not subscribed, click subscribe. If you want an update every day or every time I post a new video, click the bell icon and um, give me a big thumbs up. So thank you for watching and I will try to check back in tomorrow. Thanks.